And then uh, my plan for the day is I'll give you a quick uh, review of the aerospace engineering department and the different programs we have, the faculty, projects. Um, and then you guys are free to open any questions, to ask any questions you want. How about starting actually with introducing um, ourselves so we get to know each other a little bit uh, uh, better. So I'm Nikos Murtos, I'm professor and uh, chair of the aerospace engineering department. Emma, you would you like to share? What's oh, I'm sure. What do you want? What do you want to know? Well, uh, you know. Um, so, are you interested in the program? Are you currently in a local high school, or you know, this sort of? Um. Thing? Yeah, I'm current. I'm interested in doing the aerospace engineering. Uh, um, I live in Tracy, so I'm at Kimball High School. Uh huh. Okay, so you're thinking about majoring in uh, aerospace engineering? Uh, yes. Awesome. Very well. Okay, I want to give uh, Corey a couple of minutes. Uh, okay, so Corey, can you hear me? Yeah, okay, uh, Corey, do you want to introduce yourself? Okay. Uh, so, uh, Corey, I take it uh, you have some uh, sound issues. Okay, I read in the chat uh, you are a student at the ENSA College and you want to major in aerospace engineering. Awesome. So, I, I assume you'll be coming in as a transfer student. Um, okay. Uh, so, let me let me start by sharing my screen and I'll give you a little bit of background about uh, our department. Um, and uh, in particular, one of the very exciting programs that, that, that is coming up, you know, in 2022. Uh, so let's see. To open up the PowerPoint first. This is the first slide, share screen. Okay, can you guys see my screen? Uh, yes, I, I can hear anyone. Uh, let's see, you guys are both muted. Um, I want to unmute so you can uh, ask uh, questions as I'm presenting. Can you, um, can you see my screen? Yes. Awesome. Okay, so I'll, I'll give you a little bit of uh, background uh, on our aerospace engineering uh, department. Um, the department was initiated in 1987 and uh, um, a little bit of history. We had uh, Dean Pinson at the time uh, who asked uh, the first department chair, you know, who became the first department chair, Dr. Desutel. He was a mechanical engineering faculty member at the time to develop an A program in, a, in an A department. In uh, 1987, we opened up our doors. Uh, and at the time, we were the only aerospace engineering program from Seattle to Boulder, Colorado to Los Angeles. And uh, lo and behold, I was the first uh, tenure line faculty member to be hired, uh, a fresh PhD from, uh, from Stanford. 
1989, only two years after we started, uh, the um, uh, first transfer students graduated with their BSA degrees. Uh, they transferred from different programs, you know, within the College of Engineering. Obviously, you know, they didn't start as freshmen. And Dr. Hunter, who is still with us, uh, was a first full-time lecturer who was hired uh, in the area of dynamics and control. We got our first accreditation from ABIT 1991. At the time, we had uh, about 400 majors and... Uh, this is where we are right now. Actually, we're over 400 majors. And in 1992, we started uh, our MSA program with emphasis at the time on, on satellite subsystems. So what, what makes us different than other programs uh, across the nation is that uh, we have a very innovative, broad curriculum. Broad means, you know, it covers all kinds of, you know, topics because aerospace engineering is a very broad field. Um, and it's supported by state-of-the-art laboratories. Uh, if you guys have a chance, you know, to visit our laboratories, we'll be happy, you know, to show you around. Uh, we have, uh, I'll, I'll show you pictures, you know, in, in a minute. The philosophy in our department is, is to integrate analysis, which means, you know, math and physics, uh, computation, which means programming, you know, running codes, and the fun part for me, which is design, design airplanes, spacecraft, rockets, um, experimentation. And all of these courses are supported by lots and lots and lots of hands-on projects and uh, laboratory experiments. So here's a quick, uh, a quick uh, diagram of, of our curriculum. So if you look at the bottom, you know, we start with, uh, with math. I mean, obviously you have to take quite a bit of math. Uh, in order to do rocket science, then we have physics and chemistry, then we have the engineering fundam fundamentals like CAD and programming and report writing. And then uh, the aerospace engineering core, as we call it, um, we have three major areas. One is uh, thermal fluids, which includes, you know, propulsion and aerodynamics. Uh, the second one from the left is uh, structures um, and materials. And then we have dynamics and controls. Uh, and then finally, we have it kind of like as a standalone, which is a very fundamental uh, set of skills that, that uh, you know, people who do hands-on work, you know, need to have, and that's uh, circuits, circuit analysis. Um, you have a choice of uh, undergraduate electives in astrodynamics, advanced dynamics and simulation, space systems engineering, rocketry, where you can, you can also get certified. Uh, you can get your Tripoli certificate. And also we have a UAV design uh, course, uh, which is taught by uh, a fellow from NASA Ames uh, Research Center. And then at the senior year, you can specialize in, um, either aircraft design or spacecraft design, taking a year long uh, hands-on project, uh, which leads basically to your graduation. The master's program, uh, we currently have about uh, somewhere between 80 and 90 students. Uh, it's 30 units. Uh, we have a required math course, a required uh, CFD course, computational fluid dynamics, and then we have uh, uh, four core areas uh, that uh, you got to take uh, courses from. The first one is in dynamics and controls. And we have courses in astrodynamics, aircraft stability and control, spacecraft stability and control, trajectory optimization. So you can choose any of these courses. Then the next area is structures and materials. You can pick between 250 or 251. We have aerodynamics, which includes hypersonics. And then uh, we currently have only one course in propulsion, okay, which everybody has to take. It's, it's actually uh, space propulsion systems. Uh, we have uh, two electives that you can choose from. When I say two electives, six units that you can choose from. Otherwise, you have many, many more electives to choose from. 
Um, one of them is 210, Space Systems Engineering, which we hope to certify this year as a writing course. And, and I'll explain you know, why this is important. And then we have two aircraft design electives, 271 and 273, which are already certified as uh, GUAR courses. So in, in case you didn't know, um, the CSU uh, requires that all graduate programs include a graduate writing course. And uh, we could certify as many of our courses as we want to, courses that involve quite a bit of writing as GUAR courses, so that you can satisfy this requirement without having to take an additional three units. And currently we have two courses, 271 to 73, but they're both in the area of aircraft. So we hope this year we will certify also 210. So if people like spacecraft and they don't want to take any aircraft courses, they can take 210 and satisfy the, the GUAR requirement. And, and lastly, the, the fun part, uh, this is where you actually do real research or design work. And uh, you, you, can, you may work you know, with your advisor to co-author a paper and present it at a conference uh, or write a journal article. And that's 295A and 295B. That's uh, the project class, which is uh, six units. Th does anybody have any questions before I move uh, forward? Not me, no. Okay. So here's one of the exciting things coming up in 2022. Uh, we are putting together uh, what uh, SCSU calls a Spartan Accelerated Graduate Education or SAGE program. And I just submitted the proposal to the college and it was approved for the aerospace engineering program. So what that involves is, uh, let me, get out of this and share another screen. Um, you can basically work for um, five years and get both your bachelor's and your master's degree at the end of the five year period, which is pretty good news um, if you ask me, because that will make you a lot more competitive. As you probably know, you know when you apply for jobs, sometimes uh, people look for advanced degrees. So if you guys can see that, I'll try to enlarge it a little bit. Uh, this is the, the four-year plan that we typically show on the website and in the SCSU catalog. So the first and the second and the third years are identical, nothing changes, okay? But in the third year, uh, if your GPA is good and you have earned uh, Bs at least in uh, some of the aerospace core courses that you see here, like 112, 138, 160, uh, you can apply for admission into the SAGE program, the accelerated uh, graduate program. So if you are admitted in your senior year, you start taking graduate courses. And you can see, for example, in, in the color purple, uh, instead of the undergraduate propulsion class, you could take the graduate rocket propulsion class to 67. And uh, um, in the fall semester, you take the graduate mathematics course, A200. And in the spring semester, you take the um, graduate structures course. So we try to keep the number of units manageable you know, for full-time students. So you know, we don't want anyone taking 18 units, you know, for example, so 15 to 16 for the most part. Um, and, and so that's a manageable, you know, load. And then finally, in the fifth year, you have nine units each semester, including your 295A and 295B, your master's project course. So uh, in five years, with uh, very reasonable unit loads in each and every semester, you can graduate with both your bachelor's and your master's degree. In, in fact, your bachelor's degree is still, uh, if you follow the curriculum, if you follow the four year plan, the bachelor's degree will still be awarded at the end of the four years, right? So you can see that on the four year plan. 
So, um, so that's that's a pretty exciting uh, program that uh, we're going to try to recruit students uh, beginning next fall, uh, and uh, you know, hopefully, we'll have a good cohort, you know, so that students can also, you know, work with each other and uh, and collaborate. I'll go back to my PowerPoint and I'll start showing you some of our labs. Um, so as I said, you know, one of the things we take pride of in our department is, uh, you know, we have lots of uh, hands-on activities for students. Engineering by nature, hands-on, right? You know, engineers design and build things, you know, it's not just equations and derivations. Uh, so here is our space systems engineering lab. Uh, we currently have one of our own graduates who uh, is working at NASA Ames and is one of the lead engineers in uh, the Tech at Sat program. I don't know if you heard about it, Technology Education Satellite. The Technology Education Satellite program was started in our department with Dr. Papadopoulos and uh, Mark Murbach from NASA Ames. And uh, what that involves is, is basically designing small satellites, 10 by 10 centimeters, um, that are launched to the space station and deployed to test uh, one particular concept or experiment. So recently, uh, uh, the Ali Guarnero Luna was involved in the launch of the latest one, I believe it was uh, the Teketsat you know, 12. Here's the space, uh, the space Systems Engineering ground station antenna uh, at the roof of the uh, engineering building, which we use to track uh, uh, satellites to celestial bodies, you know, anything that's out there in space. Our subsonic wind tunnel, where you'll be doing uh, eight experiments four in AE-160 and four in AE-162 class. The uh, um, flow visualization in our water tunnel. Uh, and uh, here are some photos from uh, the design build fly competition. So every year in the aircraft design class, we have one team at least that participates in the AIAA design build fly competition. Uh, in 2012 and 2016, uh, we won first place. That's a very, very prestigious uh, competition. It's international. There's teams from Europe, the Middle East, Canada, and Central and South America who participate in this competition. Typically, about 100 teams, including MIT, Stanford, you know, and some of the top notch schools. And uh, we typically place in the top three. You know, uh, we, I, don't recall any placement, you know, below the tenth place, and uh, and so we're doing great. Um, the gentleman uh, in a tie here on the lower uh, hand right corner here, who is teaching the class, uh, Professor Gonzalo Mendoza, is a graduate from my aircraft design class in '97. He went to Wichita. He loves airplanes. He's been working for Cessna, and now he's uh, uh, vice president for innovation. Uh, so we're very excited, you know, to have him teach our aircraft design class. Uh, here's an example of uh, rocketry, and that's basically an extracurricular activity. This is not part of a course. Uh, students are always excited about uh, participating in challenging projects. So they um, uh, participated in a high altitude uh, rocket project, and uh, they launched this, they, they built and and launched this rocket and you can see the crater uh, in uh, November of 2018. Um, the, the work that we have been doing with, uh, with the um, uh, Tech at Sat program uh, has been recognized by the San Jose City Hall. So you can see here the entire team of SCSU students uh, Ali uh, Guarnero Luna is at the, the uh, right hand side corner here, sitting in a chair, uh, and Mark Murbach standing on the other side. Uh, and you can see the mayor of San Jose with Dr. Papadopoulos, who uh, picked up the plaque. Uh, and of course, you know, the entire team of, uh, of the Tech at Sat uh, engineers, and some of them are our students. 
So very, very exciting, uh, you know, to be part of this project. Some of our alumni, uh, so depending on what you want to do with your degree, right? Some people decide to go to academia. We had Dr. Wade Kubsch, who had become a professor of aerospace engineering at West Virginia University. And uh, he may be the next uh, chair of the aerospace engineering department there. Uh, Gonzalo Mendoza, uh, manager of innovation at uh, Cessna, uh, BSAE 1998 from our program. Anima, who came to us with a non-aerospace engineering degree and got her master's in aerospace in 2010. And she's an aspiring astronaut. She has gone through all kinds of training uh, programs at NASA. Uh, and Jay, uh, who is operations manager at Space Systems uh, Loral. And so this is just a few examples. If you guys want to see more, uh, you, can, you can go into our uh, website. Let me open up um, configure alumni. Uh, go here and share. Uh, this is, is, I hate Zoom. Now it's blocking my share screen thing. Uh, let's see, I am. You are screen sharing. Okay, so you guys can see the page. Uh, so one of the things I wanted to show you, uh, why is it showing the College of Engineering? There we go. So this is our department page. So a lot of the information you may want, uh, if you want to browse this page, you know, chances are you'll find it here. Of course, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to email me and I'll be happy to help you out. Um, I want to introduce you, you know, to our faculty. So you've already met me. Um, my specialty is primarily aircraft design, although I started in aerodynamics. Uh, Dr. Papadopoulos, he's in uh, space systems and also, you know, rocketry. Uh, Dr. Capdevilla, uh, she's in astrodynamics. Dr. Maria Chiericchetti, uh, her area is uh, structures. And uh, our newest uh, addition to our faculty, Dr. Zunkpe, uh, who is in the area of thermal fluids and uh, numerical methods. And, and we have also a bunch of uh, uh, lecturers from industry, uh, Brian uh, Andrade. Uh, he works for a local company as, uh, as their uh, hands-on aerodynamicist, and he's also teaching A160, 162. Dr. Araba Mudan, she's teaching programming. Uh, Professor Benzio, he's teaching CAD. Dr. Kramer, he's teaching uh, UAV. Uh, he's from NASA Ames. Uh, Dr. Hunter, dynamics. Uh, uh, Dr. Koshravi, he's teaching math. Uh, Dr. Kondos, uh, he was teaching uh, integrating AI into aerospace. Uh, Dr. Lang, aerodynam uh, dynamics. Uh, Dr. Lombard, uh, flight mechanics. Dr. Lu, controls. Uh, Dr. Ali Guarnero Luna, space systems engineering. Uh, Dr. Mendoza, aircraft. Montgomery, aircraft. Marcus Murbach, space systems. Um, Emily, she's one of our research graduates. She's teaching AE 100. Um, Joseph, one of our research graduates. He's teaching 112, 114. Dr. Schultz, CFD. Dr. Sukeras, Dr. Sway from NASA Ames. And uh, Alisa, she's one of our graduates working at NASA Ames and she's one of our advisors. So I'm gonna stop here and see if you guys have any questions. Um, rather than talking your ears off. Hi, uh, thank you for the presentation. I was just a little curious because I'm a freshman at De Anza. I started like a month ago. Uh -huh. Are there any programs, engineering programs at San Jose State that non-students can participate in? Uh... I would say you can join uh... Uh, any of our professional societies, oh, okay. right? And mm -hmm. tell them you are 
a perspective uh, SJSU student in aerospace mm -hmm. engineering. And uh, uh, I don't see any reason why you would not be allowed to participate uh, in their activities. So what they do is they organize tours, you know, NASA Ames, you know, research center. And sometimes they, I mean, they're pretty ambitious. Sometimes, you know, they, they have tours, uh, Boeing facilities in Seattle. Um, where else have they gone? I mean, they've gone down south, you know, to um, JPL. JPL, yeah. And uh, they also they also do a lot of, you know, hands-on projects. Uh, so they always look for help, you know, so I'm pretty sure you know, that uh, they welcome anyone who wants to join them. So by the way, if you want information about, I'm gonna reshare my screen, uh, about any of these projects, uh, share screen. So if you go on our website under students, uh, let's see, student clubs. So you click there and we have links to a bunch of them. So if you click, for example, on American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics. Oh, I've heard of that. Yeah, that, that's the largest one because AIAA is, is you know, the, the professional society for aerospace engineers. Mm -hmm. um, so they have photos and uh, I'm looking for contact info. So if you click on leadership team, here are the officers. So Charina. Catalonia is a chair and uh, Shivani is a vice chair. Fernando is a treasurer. Uh, Gordon is a secretary. Svitlana is industry contact. Uh, Austin, the same. Ian, project manager. So we got a lot of active, um, a lot of active officers. And that's just one project, right? I mean, all, all the clubs, you know, we have lots of clubs, you know, that are very active. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the rocket club is another one so they have a little video here uh, about um, trying to see where uh, 10 dollars are about the team sponsors uh, I don't see the officers here about um, yeah anyway so that would be the place to to click and then send an email and uh, mm -hmm. go from there. All right. Who would I? Who specifically would I contact? Oh, you can you start with the president. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I I can do that. And then I, I see your email, like the contact section at the bottom. Would I just tag you in it or something? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can copy. So, okay. I'll I'll think about that for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll head out now. This was a great presentation. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, and uh, if you have any more questions, you know, let me know. Of course. Have a good have a good weekend. The, the same to you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. So, how are you doing, Emma? You still doing there? Good. Yeah. Any any questions on your end? Uh, no questions. I think I'm gonna head out too. Okay. Thank you for showing up today. Have a good day. The same to you. Bye.